Well, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Mona Project. We here at the Mona Project are continuing in our series uh, of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, advice, and uh, guidance, and continuing on uh, this uh, vein of sensitivity, I am reminded of a story uh, with respect to uh, the Hasim Sofer, great, great Torah scholar, great, a uh, great man, also great sensitivity. And a businessman once came to the Hasim Sofer. He wasn't doing very well, and he needed a bracha. He needed a, a blessing from a from a godel, a great, uh, great tzaddik, a righteous person. Uh, to help him in his, uh, in his business, his livelihood, his pranasa. And so he, uh, he tells him he's doing poorly in business, he, he needs uh, some, he needs a blessing, he needs uh, something to, to make him do well, do better. The Hasim Sofer looks at the man, and he quotes from the book of Exodus, chapter 3, verse 5. Shumati, and even I, I too, have heard the groan of the children of Israel, whom Egypt enslaves. He says, I have also heard that your brother, uh, this, uh, this person, is destitute and in search of income. And you've refused to help your brother. The man says, but, 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 I've just told you I am not in a position to help him. I'm barely in a position to help myself. Um, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. The Chazim Sofer explains, when God said these words, I, Gamani, also I, me too, I've heard the, the suffering. The word Gam also implies someone else. Who else was hearing the suffering? The Jews who were going through that terrible time of tsar, of, of pain, of anguish, even though each individual Jew was suffering, they heard and had sympathy for and empathy for the suffering of others going through the same thing at the time, their brethren, their cousins, their sisters, their countrymen, their co-religionists. They each, in their own pain, each of them also felt and heard the suffering of his fellow Jew, his his tsar, his, his tsar, his his, his his anguish. He still felt his brother's suffering, even though he was in pain. He thought of his brother's pain, and as a result of this compassion, as the result of this sympathy, God also heard and that's why we were we had the benefit of the exile um, we were liberated from the Egyptian exile and we had the benefit of let's see Mitzrayim the exodus of Egypt the fact the fact that you're suffering the fact the fact that your business isn't doing well the fact that you're poor doesn't in any way mitigate your responsibility toward your brother. The Chasm Sofer was a great man. And as I said before in previous videos, it is these little sensitivities that truly mark a great person. Let us in our own lives have an eye out, have an ear open for the needs of others, for the sensitivity for others. Do what we can. Don't just feel sorry. Do what we can to alleviate in some small way the sufferings of others. Meet the needs in some small way of others. If we hear the sufferings and the needs of others, maybe God will be in a better position to hear our pleas when we are in a time of suffering. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. I hope you find them uh, of use and some inspiration. And until next time, on behalf of the Imono Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.